everyone. How are you all? This is Kathy from Divine Debut. I am doing your love reading, specifically looking into love. Now this is roughly mid-March of 2020. Um, so I would say that th these videos would go for the next month until roughly again the same time mid-April. So these readings will be roughly around mid-month from one month to the next. So these readings are March till April, mid-March till mid-April. Now also what I'd like to do is I'd like to also point out that I have a competition. I've uploaded a video for um, St. Patrick's Day which is on the 17th of March. Um, I will be doing uh, freebies, giveaways there so I will have the description in the um, the link I should say in the description box below so do check that out. Um, the winner will be announced on the 17th of March. Also um, the 2020 yearly readings, the extended readings are up. Do check those out as well. And I've also provided another service for coffee cup reading. I've just uploaded that video, so do see that as well. For those of you that like the coffee cup, your coffee cup to be read, do check that out. I do have Mary Lou who is very good at that. She's very experienced at reading coffee cups. She's been doing it for years. Also, I'm also going to be doing the mid-month readings for the month, mid-month for March 2020. Look out for those. Please press on the notification bell if you have not yet. That way you'll be notified for all the videos that I'm doing and also check me out on social media on Instagram and Facebook. Alright, on to your readings. Thank you so much for listening to these messages. Hello dear Leo, how are you all? Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here and this is your love reading from mid-March till mid-April of 2020. This is a specific love reading. Do look out in the next few days for the mid-month of March general and love readings. So let's take your love life, what's going on in your romantic life, dear Leo. So Leo, mid-March till mid-April 2020. Um, I'm using the Witch's Tarot. So let's see, dear Leo. We have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands can be love messages, quick arrows of love coming through. This is also a quick pacing uh, changes coming in for you. This could also mean flight travel. There is a lot of desire. A desire to visit a place, desire to send your heart's desires out. These could even be messages that are coming to you if you are dealing with another fire sign. Could be any fire sign. We do have the Ace of Pentacles, so it looks as though something very stable is beginning for you. We know that the Ace of Pentacles can be very long-lasting. It's real. It's not just what we desire. It's something that we manifest. It is the potential for something that is very solid. Okay, we've also got Earth here, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles can mean Virgo, as Virgo is, uh, the Eight of Pentacles is my Virgo card. Now, Virgo and Leo, I do have a few cuspers that do listen to me, so therefore the Eight of Pentacles is that you're willing to do the work Dear Leo, this is you. If you are dealing with another earth sign, could mean that they're, they're, they've got a lot on their plate. They're doing, you know, those details they're looking at, maybe something that they're trying to build on. And this is an initial beginning. So it's here, the Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is someone that is also willing to do the work. Okay, and someone that's very grounded, someone that's 
even financially quite stable. They're very, they're in a good place where business is concerned. Let's take another card. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Seven of Pentacles is someone that is seriously looking at investing, investing in this relationship, in this potentially long-lasting marriage, commitment, whatever this is. Ace of Pentacles we know can even be a pregnancy. Okay, so we've got a fair bit of earth here. Nine and seven is sixteen. That equals again seven of pentacles. It will take a little bit of time though. There's a lot of work to be done. But we know that the desire to manifest as well as putting the hard work is here. There is some sort of a stoppage though here with the seven of pentacles. Someone could be taking a break after having worked a lot. They could also be thinking of uh, traveling. And we've got the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is my Taurus card, dear Leo. For others of you, it could be any other earth sign, I suppose. We know that the King of Pentacles, being an earth sign, is someone that is very slow moving, very steady, very stable. This is someone who's very business orientated, someone who could already be a father or has got the potential to be a very good father, someone that one can depend on. Maybe work is in the way of the commitment. There is the indication here, but there's a point of stopping, maybe because of work for something. Now, we know that the King of Pentacles does hold that Ace of Pentacles. So... I, f I would say that the beginning all depends on the King of Pentacles. And when I say the beginning, I mean the commitment depends on your partner, dear Leo. Now, for those of you that have also got Virgo in your chart, you're on the cusp, I suppose this could be you. I'm not going to rule that out. Let's see what else. And we've got the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, that's a lot of Pentacles here. Now there are quite a few similarities here with the Cancerian reading as well. So some of you may be cuspers with Cancer. Okay, Nine of Pentacles in this Witch's Tarot, I do see her as the Empress. We know that, you know, adding this Pentacle to the Nine, we've got the Seven, Eight and Nine. There is progression here. And the Nine of Pentacles is someone that's quite independent. Could mean that this King of Pentacles, dear Leo, is someone who is building on their future. So business is very important here. But they also, they could be ready now to commit as we've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles is being held by him. Dear Leo, this could be you. This could be you, and the King of Pentacles is holding that Tenth Pentacle, which completes a family or some sort of a commitment here. Now, because she is like the Empress, she's very nurturing, loving. Yes, very could be very independent, financially pretty good, someone who brings in their own um, financially, someone who's quite stable themselves. But this could also mean that she is manifesting and in a matter of six months she will be able to stand strong independently or that she is very creative and something is growing for her. What's at the bottom of the deck? And we've got the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is a card of success and popularity. You know, this is a card of balance. This is a card of recognition. We could be dealing here with two people that are quite independent financially but also recognized by their peers, by the people they work with, someone who is quite popular and very successful. What's beneath that? And we've got the Six of Cups, dear Leo. This is a soulmate connection, a strong soulmate connection. And, you know, we know that the Six of Cups can also mean children. So it's a card of innocence. Three of Pentacles, more Pentacles. Now, we do have water here as well, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
as I did say, can, the Cancerian reading, and there are similarities as well with the Piscean reading. So when we're looking at the water, we're talking about Cancer or Pisces so far. Let's take some more cards, dear Leo. Let's look at the Lenormand. I'm going to say that if you are dealing with someone that is at a distance, because we've got six of wands and eight, that equals 14, that is the temperance card, which says that you're being patient, something, yes, the divine is working on something for you, but that can also speak of a healing process or that you have to be patient. I know that Leo being a fire sign, not easily patient. They want to be spontaneous and, you know, take action and go for what they desire straight away. But temperance is saying, take it one step at a time. There is a right time for everything. And also we know that the temperance is also a card of faith. It is a card of spirit, but also we know that uh, temperance is Sagittarius and that can, we could be talking about someone that is at a distance from a dif distant country or at a distance to where you are. That's why there is the necessity for flight travel here. Let's take three cards. Lenormand for Leo. Leo, please, spirit. We have the fox. There's the number 14 again. Now, the fox can mean intelligence. It can mean sneakiness. It can speak of, you know, making a wise move. But uh, because it is a 14, and I was just talking about the temperance, 14 also turns into a 5. 5 is the number of the Hierophant. So some of you may have restrictions. Could it be that this King of Pentacles has restrictions because of business? They're not able to focus solely on building what they're committing to romantically. They are... I suppose it could mean that they could be stealing some time away from what they do to go for what they desire. Let's see, because it turns into a five. We've got 29. 29 is the girl next door. This is the feminine energy, the woman that is quite... She's the bookworm, she's the intelligent, she's the girl next door, the very grounded, very earthy energy in this feminine uh, card, in this female. Now, if you are obviously a female, then this is you. If you are a male, then this is your partner. This is someone that's very grounding, as I said, very nurturing, very much like the Nine of Pentacles. This could be someone who has their own business where anything to do with blogs or writing or, you know, anything to do with written and spoken business orientation here. And we've got an A here. So that could mean something in particular for you. What else do we have? And we've got the ring. We actually have the ring which is a commitment, another A, and this is 25, which equals a 7. So 7 can mean, yes, conflict, but it can also mean persevering. The commitment is here. Someone is ready to take that next step of committing, maybe even moving into marriage. This could be an offer of let's leave our independence in the past. Let's move into something that we can grow together. That's what I feel here, but I will be taking a few more cards. Let's see, and we've got the birds. It's going to take a little bit of time. This is uh, the 12, and 12 is Pisces, and it's the hanging man. Now, the news is coming in, which can be very enlightening for you. We've got another seven, and can be very enlightening, but we know that, uh, you know, some of you may also have a strong friendship with this person, because we know that the birds, you know, they can be friends, birds of a feather flock together. So this is someone that is very similar to you, dear Leo. 
someone that has the same traits or wants the same thing as you. And we know that 12 can work, uh, add up and become a 3 and 3 is expansion, it's the Empress. Let's take some cards. What I'd like to look at is the Seven of Pentacles, what is that hold up? Well, two cards have opened. We've got another seven, seven of cups, fantasy and temptation, and then eight of cups. So there is progression here, evolving. So with the seven of cups, we know that can mean Pisces. Pisces is unconditional love. But it's also with the card of temptation, we know that seven of cups can mean lots of options. Some of you may be dealing with someone that has got a lot of options but the seven of cups can also mean someone is stopping to try and clear the air because there is a lot of confusion now if this king of pentacles has been dealing with someone that was quite neptunian someone that was quite the trickster because we do also have the fox here someone that was trying to pull the wool over their eyes if this was a past relationship if they were doing dealing with someone that was a devil-like energy because of the word temptation, then they're moving away from that. They're evolving from these lessons. Now, Seven of Cups can also mean anything to do with overindulging, drinking alcohol, whatever the addictions are. They may be moving away from something like that. We know that the Eight of Cups is leaving something and moving into something else. And we've got Seven and Eight, Seven and eight do add up to 15, which is the devil energy. And the devil energy could be a vicious cycle that this king of pentacles has been in. Now, if this is someone that obviously is leaving a situation in the past, we know that with the eight of pentacles, and it does look like someone is doing their detective work, we've also got the skull here, which does ring Scorpio for me. And Scorpio is looking at the, you know, looking what's at what's been hidden. We know that Scorpio is ruled by Pluto, and Pluto is death and transformation. But Scorpio can also be money from other sources, other people's money. So, yes, if this King of Pentacles is a Taurian, then Scorpio would be their seventh house of partnerships. So... A lot going on here. Let me take an, another card. I want to look at this Nine of Pentacles. And we've got the Three of Wands. That was quick. Awaiting results. Awaiting. Just like the Nine of Pentacles. And we know another three can speak of expansion and growth. Three of Wands usually shows someone that's waiting at the fort. Um, at the port. <laughs> waiting for those ships to come through. So here we've got an energy of... I want to take action. I want to be spontaneous. And here we've got three of wands where someone is waiting. So, you know, I think that this is a very fated, very karmic, I'm not saying karma in a bad way, it's a fated connection. Why? Because we've got uh, eight and three is 11, 11 wands. And we know that 11 wands, they do, the number 11 uh, is the number of justice so finding your balance but also walking through a new doorway we know that the three of wands could also mean someone who's turned their back on a situation and they're looking to their to the future right holding that ace of wands that they do desire to go for all right dear leo let's take a mystic moon oracle and see what's going on let's look at this eight of pentacles and that fox. Eight of Pentacles. What's that all about? And we've got fifth dimension connecting on the fifth dimension. This is a twin flame journey. This is a twin flame connection. I do believe that at night, when we sleep or when we don't sleep, let's say what I mean when we're up late at night, 
if you are up late at night meditating you this is a form of also meditation which can take you to another level I do feel a strong connection even through your sleep dear Leo I do feel that we astral travel fifth dimension as you can see these people are together so there you're obviously traveling on different spiritually different dimensions or you have been and you know trying to lessen that distance whether it's a spiritual connection only for you some of you it could only be a spiritual connection at this point but with the king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles i do feel as though this could be materializing now the eight of cups does speak very much of connecting to the divine growing spiritually so I do feel a strong connection on the fifth dimension what's that Fox all about what's that all about and we've got the separation you see so I do feel as though some of you have been dealing with a um, past relationship this is like the three of swords therefore you've been intelligent you've come out of a love triangle if you were dealing with someone that did the dirty on you there is a lot of intelligence we know that this girl next door this feminine character here is looking straight at the fox so she's very aware of what's being playing out I feel as though she's very intelligent here so a lot of you are leaving behind someone that has done the dirty on you or this could be the king of pentacles that has gone through this situation all right dear Leo I think I will leave it at that because of the separation card I'm going to say it could be an air sign that's in the past here could be air could be also uh, Capricorn with the temptation card that's in the past and again this could also be a cycle with the devil card a cycle that you are breaking a cycle of temptation and of course a Saturnian cycle which has taught you a lot so you've come a long way dear Leo let's take just one card on this six of wands and we have the ace of pentacles wise investment so double meaning ace of pentacles you will be very successful okay with this ace of pentacles this could mean that you both have strong earth in your chart all right thank you